everybody and welcome to my last wrap up Woo, I'm catching up or not well my March was much better than my February reading wise because exams yay well the reading got a tiny bit better by one book so I've read six books in March and well let's tell you all about them so the first book that i've read in march was the struggle by jennifer l amateur the third book in the titan series the spin-off series of the covenant series Whew. and i was lucky enough to get an arc by jennifer because i'm still on her arc team so i got this book i think three weeks before it came out which made me super happy because it was right before exams started so I still had time to read it and oh my gosh this book I loved it it was a perfect third book I might say and I'm a huge fan of it and it had the right amount of battle action and lovey-dovey action what the hell that is not even a word but the romance was also quite good and so of course it got five out of five stars and I can't no? Yes, you can see. I got a poster from Jen, which is signed with the cover, and I'm super happy to have it. The next book that I've read is How the Dead Douchebag, The Failing Hours by Sarah Nay. And this is the second book in the How to Date a Douchebag series, and I was really waiting for this book to come out because I loved the first one, and the first one was amazing, and the second one was also amazing, but not as good as the first one. Which could be because I wasn't such a huge fan of the guy, but otherwise it was really greatly written, funny as always, and well, what can I say more than 5 out of 5 stars, even though it wasn't as good as the, as the first one. Then I got into rereading books, and so I've reread. I wound up by Kara Kamek, the first book in the Rusty University series. And it was as amazing as the first time reading it. Maybe even better than the first time reading it, because it wasn't even as reading it for the first time, because it's been forever since I've read this. And so I didn't have much of the storyline in my mind anymore. But it was amazing like the first time reading it so five out of five stars then i've read full package by lauren blakely and i've never read anything by her so i was really excited to read it and i was really surprised because what's really refreshing for this book is the whole book is told from the guy's point of view which i've never had before with a romance book always double pov or the girl and this time we got the guy woo, woo. and it was really cool to read and I like the storyline a lot. It was not really something new, but roommates turned feelings into lovers, and I kind of liked the storyline a lot. And only one thing that I didn't like was that the end was really rushed, and I would have loved to see more of a couple of them. That is not a complete sentence, <laughs> but yeah, it was rushed and we didn't see much of them as a couple. So it got 4 out of 5 stars. The next book that I've read was Job Blocked by Jen Frederick and just as the first one in the series, I really enjoyed it. I was a huge fan of the storyline and sports books. Woo! I don't know why I love sports books so much when I hate sports so much. I'm the laziest person ever. I'm so lazy that sometimes I don't switch this channel on the TV because the remote is so far away. So I don't know what it is but I love spot books and this was no exception and it got 5 out of 5 stars. And after that I've read Down by Grant Frederick and well, it felt like I was reading a completely different series by a completely different author because the storyline was, well, different than the other ones, but the writing was also really different and the characters. Because the main characters were suddenly really annoying and what bothered me the most was the girl 
took on projects and those were guys that were kind of douchebags and she made them think they were dating to reform them into nice guys and then to set them free and couple them off with one of her friends and so she took on the, our main character and he thought they were really dating and they weren't then, but she got feelings and uh, like, it was so complicated and I hated the girl so much I hated her worldview and I kind of wanted to DNF the book but I pulled it through in the end it got better but it was only like a tiny little 20% of the book that were good so it got three out of five stars so that were all of the books for march i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you soon goodbye